What if I told you that electric vehicles have been around for over 100 years? Elon Musk may be the poster boy of today, but roll back the clock to the 1800s and you'll find it was a Brit, Thomas Parker, who was the first star of the show. By popular opinion, Parker invented the first practical electric car in 1884. A celebrity inventor, Parker was considered the Edison of Europe and Wolverhampton's first motorist. His EV came a year before the Benz patent motorwagen, the first production gasoline automobile, arrived on the scene. At the turn of the century, EVs didn't just exist, they were sexy. Belgian Camille Genazzi broke the world land speed record three times in the first purpose-built battery racer. And in the early 20th century, electric vehicles were all the rage. They were quieter and less polluting than their fuel and steam-powered brothers. So if technology existed and was popular over a century ago, why didn't the EV keep pace with the petrol car? The Model T. Strong, sturdy, with a will of its own. The Ford Model T, Henry Ford's ubiquitous motor car, was the death knell in the first age of electrified driving. It pioneered true mass production and moved away from the cumbersome hand crank needed to start the engine by introducing the electric starter. The Ford Model T was a popular car that was priced within the range of the common man's pocketbook. As Model T sales spiked, crude oil became cheaper in an era known as the petroleum age. Electric cars were left in the dust as petrol cars were both more cost effective and could travel further. It was only the lonely, battery-powered milk float that was commonplace on the streets of Britain. But in the 1960s, the EV would make a partial comeback as people started to question mankind's impact on the environment due to our reliance on the internal combustion engine. At the time, a number of automakers tried to crack the EV, but they all failed. Models were ugly, slow and expensive. But this didn't stop the first car on the moon being electric. In the Apollo space program in 1971, the lunar rover was the first manned vehicle to drive on the surface. And this space age design came to the streets in the 80s with the Sinclair C5, a road legal electric velomobile. Along with various other attempts at mass market EVs in the 80s and 90s, they didn't really take off. Things would really change with the computing revolution of the 2000s. Single chip microprocessors and lithium ion batteries meant new electric cars were both easier to drive and more efficient. Distance travel became achievable and the EV was finally making up lost ground. Variants of this same technology form the bedrock of what we see in all EVs today. And after years of languishing and even near extinction, we can now see that the future is bright for electric cars.